Hello friends, welcome to UPSC Logics and my name is Siddharth and today I am going to discuss the first Mysore war. This war started in 1766 and lasted for almost 3 years, ending with the Treaty of Madras in 1769. So this particular war was fought between Hyder Ali and the British and there were 4 wars that were fought between the Mysore Kingdom and the British over a period of 30 years. So the last war was fought between Tipu Sultan and the British where Tipu Sultan died while defending Sri Ranga Patnam in 1799. So let us start this topic. So let us now have a look at the causes that were responsible for this war to happen. And number one was that Hyder Ali didn't like the British at all. So he really wanted to drive the British away from the Carnatic region as well as at a later stage from India. So the British realized this fact that Hyder Ali was plotting against them. So this was reason number one. Reason number two was that there was an alliance that was formed between the British, the Nizam and the Marathas and this was formed against Hyder Ali. And number three was that Hyder Ali managed to break this particular alliance and declared war against the British since he thought that the British were weak since their alliance had broken. Now Hyder Ali scored some brilliant victories over the British and in fact during the course of this war he came as close as to 5 miles of Madras in March 1769 and this particular war ended with the Treaty of Madras that was signed in 1769. Now the Treaty of Madras was signed in April 1769 and this was signed between Hyder Ali and the British as well as its allies. So there was only one ally of the East India Company who was the Raja of Tanjore, the Malabar ruler. And this is what needs to be remembered here that Raja of Tanjore, the Malabar ruler, helped the British against Hyder Ali. And this particular treaty was signed with both of them. That was the company as well as the Raja of Tanjore. So let us now have a look at the clauses of this particular treaty. And number one was that whatever territories were conquered by Hyder Ali in, during, this course, during the course of this war had to be mutually distributed among Hyder Ali as well as the British. And this did not apply to Karur and Karur and its district were to stay with Hyder Ali. The number two clause was that in case of any attack by a third party, both Hyder Ali as well as British would retaliate. Number third was that all the captured employees of the Madras government were to be released by Hyder Ali. And number four was that Raja of Tanjore was to be considered as a friend and ally by Hyder Ali. And number five was that all the trade privileges of the Bombay Presidency and the English factories were to be restored. So this brings us to the end of this particular video on the first Mysore war that was fought between 1766 and 69. And Hyder Ali came out victorious from it. We need to remember that Raja of Tanjore helped the British against Hyder Ali and Hyder Ali almost came to 5 miles within Madras. And this particular war ended with the Treaty of Madras that was a defensive treaty and was signed in April 1769. So thank you so much for watching and do like and subscribe to the channel if you are watching it for the first time. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notifications from UPSC Logics. So thank you and Jai Hind.